The ringing of a school bell calling students to class is a sound unfamiliar to a significant number of children across South Sudan. The world's newest nation has some of the lowest global educational indicators, especially when it comes to girls. Women and girls are more likely to die in childbirth than they are to finish primary education. In 2015, across South Sudan, there are only 2,000 girls in the final year of secondary school. But there is hope. <laughs> girls' Education South Sudan is funded by the United Kingdom's Department for International Development and operates in coordination with South Sudan's Ministry for Education, Science and Technology and is currently working across the country to transform a generation of South Sudanese girls through the power of education. JESS, as it's known to those it serves, is inspiring a new approach to education for young girls. We're also supporting school attendance monitoring through an innovative system of using mobile phones to send in information about attendance in each school. And we now know, because of this system, that there are 1.1 million children in school at the moment in South Sudan. Uh, that means that probably there's about three to 400,000 who have lost their education because of the conflict. Uh, but at least the enrollment has maintained in most places. The program's operational funding of 60 million British pounds from the UK is backed up by South Sudan's government with an additional 60 million South Sudanese pounds. The government is disbursing uh, funds to the schools and we are giving directly money to the girls in order to keep them uh, to able to solve the problem that always confront them in attending the school. The six-year program, which runs through 2018, is focused on 200,000 girls attending 3,000 schools across South Sudan. However, the numbers, though important, are only part of the story. The impact on these students completes the rest. Number four. We shall devote our nation by being responsible. If you are educated, even there is few girls which are educated, few women, we well, have 30, 50, 25, but boys have 75. It's less. We want to be 50 out of 50, equal with boys. That's why girls must be to go to, edu to education. Is, is it right? The JESS approach works in a number of ways in and out of the classroom. Practical support is given to schools, teachers, and education managers focused on improving the quality of that education. Thank you. When we compare, a work done by a girl is more efficient than work done by a boy. So this is exactly why that, you know, educating a girl is very important. Additionally, the project offers an annual program of direct cash transfers to approximately 200,000 qualified girls over the life of the program. Now, in its second year, the cash transfer enables girls to purchase basic needs to help ensure they can stay in school. I use that money for buying uniform, school shoes, socks and bags, books, pen, dictionary. Meanwhile, individual schools are supported with what are known as capitation grants. These grants allow schools to buy school supplies, supplement small salaries for volunteer teachers, and even improve their infrastructure. Schools that receive capitation grants are no longer permitted to charge registration fees, which removes a significant financial barrier that keeps many children out of the classroom. The JACE program in South Sudan has challenging goals, but the involvement of the government of South Sudan helps to ensure sustainability and we're trying to encourage the government to take a lead on this and so far I think we've made a good partnership. Richard Arden is a senior education advisor at the UK Department for International Development and believes this approach is helping to ensure the education system is on a path towards success. One of the reasons we're doing this program is we believe that South Sudan needs to have its education systems developed and not just simply rely on emergency and uh, NGOs and other international partners but we need to build and support the systems even through this difficult time so that eventually there can be systems that the government is leading, owning and responsible for in collaboration with 
private and faith-based institutions and NGOs. It should be a partnership. This is a responsibility that we are really exerting in order for us to really to all uh, get into harmony in this program. Just is using the strength of its partner, BBC Media Action, to promote behaviour change by informing parents of the importance of girls' education. Using various themes, BBC Media Action produces radio programming such as Our School, which is then delivered to communities who are able to listen to the information in a group environment. Following the programme, Experts can discuss the program topics and answer the many questions which often follow. It has changed the mind of some parents because some of them have known the goodness of education and some of them have also attended the program. So I think they will also take uh, more information to the rest, especially those ones who did not send their children to school. The life-changing work of Girls Education South Sudan is impacting girls in all 10 states across the country, where teachers, parents and students are seeing the difference. The challenges in South Sudan are real and they are many. A national literacy rate of 27%, which drops to just 16% among women and girls. Unstable economy, a fragile peace and uncertain security environment. But the work of Girls Education South Sudan is a steady hand for uncertain times. Empowering girls through education not only shapes the future for these girls, but can have a lasting impact on their country as well. When you educate a girl, you are educating a nation. For me, I want to be an engineer. I want to be an example to the young girls in my future.